Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is June 6, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on indignation. In Micah 7, 9, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. In Luke, 1314 and the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people there are six days in which men ought to work in them therefore come and be healed and not on the Sabbath day in Revelations 14 10 through 11 the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night we worship those who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name now what I'm getting here I didn't understand indignation so I had to get it defined indignation is the strong displeasure at something considered unjust offensive insulting or base Righteous anger, resentment, exasperation, wrath, ear, and color. God showed his wrath and indignation against the Israelites, and the Babylonians took them into captivity. The Sadducees had indignation against Jesus when he healed on the Sabbath. God's indignation, judgment, and wrath will be against those who take the sign of the beast during the end times. Fire, brimstone, and no rest will torment them unless they completely change their ways and repent. Once you think about this today, have a blessed day.